Boom, KSH have completely changed their AFS Connect Farm app. Their previous update brought a whole new user interface, a new data structure, and an improved viewing experience. It's finally more like an actual app. Now the latest August update brings more on-farm value than ever before with custom notifications and improved CAN parameter viewing. As the world moves away from computers and more to handhelds, it's a timely and powerful update from KSH. Let's dive in. Things just seem more appy now versus the prior version, which always had that feeling of, I think this is what I'm supposed to be pressing. Intuitive comes in leaps and bounds as three new neat tabs are introduced to help you access your data quicker. The agronomic tab gets you from grower to field activities in seconds, whilst the equipment tab allows for a quick search of all your vehicles and what your operators are up to in a flash. The map tab still has remnants of the old app, but allows for a map-based searching function for vehicles or for your fields if that's your preference. KSH have definitely taken the approach of less is more, and this app and its new updates are just a whole lot less overwhelming to extract value from. Pages are cleaner and actions are clearer. This new UI will ensure mobile farm management is kept clean, simple, and fast for all growers, especially as KSH introduce more features. Finally, now we get the industry standard grower farm field data format, which is neatly implemented and easily accessed through three sub tabs. The app also allows for a new multi farm view for each grower with a new grouping function. This is enabled by swiping right on the list. Now you can select the farms of interest and view them all together, which is something that wasn't available in the previous version and now makes for an easier workflow. These groups of farms and or fields can be saved too for quicker sorting at a later date. The one thing that to be honest is still a bit naff are the generic images used for the grower icons. Surely it wouldn't be that difficult to have a grower image overview for the icon or even to add your own image. That's something for case age to think about. Once at field level, any management zones and activity layers can be assessed, as well as any scouting activities or activity tracking. Unfortunately, two features which still inherit the clunkiness of the prior version. Overall, this new agronomic tab does get you to your desired data in lightning speed. A lot of value on offer here, and I expect this is where most growers will spend the majority of their time. Nothing really that groundbreaking in the equipment tab versus the prior version, but you get your list of machines, the current status, and some key metrics for instant viewing. The filter slash sort button gets you viewing your machines of interest quicker. However, it does reset after you close the app, which for large fleet owners could be a little bit annoying. Tapping a machine will dive you deeper into the detail with more metrics and notifications on offer. Something which is also pretty cool is the ease of access to your machine location history. Just simply tap the three dots and see what your operator has been up to. For me, the true value of the equipment tab is if you want to have a quick glance at a particular machine for some key metrics or perhaps just a general what is everyone up to kind of investigation. The list format in the equipment tab means it's not as easy to get an accurate picture of your fleet overview. However, this is where the map tab comes in. The map tab is essentially the same as the older My Farm page, so not that many new features to explain here. The only real change here would be the addition of the accounts button, which allows you to flick between different linked accounts for agronomists, let's say, supporting their customers and view those accounts, growers and farms. This tab really comes into its own in two key areas. Number one, if you're just looking for a simple location-based search of your machines or your fields, and number two, if you're looking for an easier and quicker fleet overview of your entire farm. Selecting a machine or field via the map tab will then take you through to the same feature and functionality as the agronomic tab and equipment tab. Last but not least, the latest end of August software update for the mobile app introduced a new custom notification feature and improved CAN machine parameter viewing. Unfortunately, the custom notifications for the mobile device still have to be set up 
on the web portal. These can be based on location, on curfew, or on CAN parameters. But once triggered, app users will find they are notified using their mobile device through push notifications. The point being with these new custom notifications is that they are active alerts, so they're keeping you informed every step of the way to whatever level you prefer. The new CAN parameters view, though nothing that innovative, just simplifies the whole fleet management thing. So no need to go through the whole login process every time you wanna go onto the web portal. You simply have more of what you need in your pocket. Whilst there aren't that many industry defining features introduced with the new app updates, KSH have still managed to improve its value to growers exponentially through simply improving the user experience. It just makes more sense now and doesn't require as much head scratching to extract the data that you need. I'll be honest, this app still has a long way to go in terms of features before it's leveraged as a primary grower tool. However, the foundations have now truly been set. Mm -hmm.